Jesus. Woke up working like I'm Mexican. Patrick. What? I thought of something funnier than 24. Let me hear it. 25. <laughs> <laughs> What is going on guys? It's your boy EMC back again with another vlog. I'm currently starting my day at the post office shipping out all the orders to you beautiful people. Thank you guys so much for everything that's ordering. If you guys didn't forget, right now I'm doing 15% off till Sunday with the code TAKE15% OFF EMC VLOGS. So there should be a discount code in like the right corner I believe on the checkout page. Type that in, you get 15% off and it's a thank you from me to you guys. We're currently at like 963 subscribers, almost at 1,000. Once we reach 2,000, I'm gonna do a giveaway. So guys, keep the subs going. I just wanna thank you guys so much. And we are gonna be doing a trip to the thrift. I'm just dropping off these post offices first, and then we're gonna hit the thrift store. Let's get it. We got the vintage Polo Ralph Lauren duffel coming in handy today. All right, now those packages are shipped, so you guys should get them in the next two days. Now let's hit up Goodwill. So I needed to stop at Office Depot to get different shipping labels because I was an idiot and got the wrong ones the first day. And since I was talking to you guys about the thrifting, I missed the store. So look, I gotta hop this fence because I don't feel like making a U-turn. See the things I do for you? This, this is ridiculous. I don't know how I'm gonna get over this fence. I'm gonna film it too. This is, this is dedication, this is YouTube dedication. Look how flimsy this fence is. I'm about to kill myself. Ooh. Oh, success. And we made it to Office Depot. <sighs> Shipping labels, shipping labels. They have so many choices. I don't know which ones are right. This is ridiculous. Why can't you just have like one? Well, it's time to deal with this dreaded fence again because I'm the idiot that wanted to park in the wrong place. All right, where should we hop? I guess over here's good. Throw that. I'm not gonna film it this time, it's too dangerous. I almost died. <laughs> it would've been so funny if I would've got that on camera. I almost busted my ass. All right, now it's actually to get this trip to the thrift started. So let's actually get it this time. And I am so dark, there we go. If you ever drive by a Krispy Kreme and see the hot sign up and don't stop, that has to be like a crime or something. So, you know, we get a Krispy Kreme donut. Hello, thank you for choosing Krispy Kreme. Let's try a special for tonight. Can I just have two regular glaze, please? If you guys have never had a Krispy Kreme donut before, I feel very bad for you. Cause this is literally like heaven in your mouth. This is ridiculous. Especially when they're hot fresh like this. Oh my lanta! Jesus. It's like a cloud of goodness. Yo, so I'm driving and this place must be on fire. Look at all that smoke. Oh my God. This light needs to turn green so we can see it. Look at all that smoke. Oh, let's see, zoom in. Wow, that smoke is so black.
It might be a car on fire. Oh no, it's a building. Oh my God. Damn. Damn, you could feel the heat on that. That is crazy. Not even lying, when I said I could feel the heat from that fire, I had my window down and you could feel it. I can't imagine what it's like over there. That is crazy. I can't believe I just got that on camera. All right, no more distractions. On our way to Goodwill. Let's get it. All right. Look, you can still see the smoke from here. That's crazy, but we just got to Goodwill, guys. Let's hope they have some goodies. Let me lock my car. Let's hope they have some goodies, some good finds, some vintage time. Some vintage, vintage anything, let's see. I love this inside. It's like a coating purple with the aqua berry and the white. Got a purple. I feel like this is a ski jacket. Just found this new age Tommy. It is a double XL, but if you notice, look, it's brand new with tags. Brand new double XL has a small flag right there. Collar neck with like the double blue and green. I think I'm gonna pass on this though. Just found this nice Jordan brand, 23. If you notice, it's like black cement on the sleeves and the 23 is shiny. It is a size large. Vintage Nautica competition, 2XL. So you got the embroidered horse, Nautica right there. Just found this vintage hill figure, Athletics. Hill figure Athletics is a double X, but it looks very, very small. Another new age Tommy Hill figure with like this waffle embroidered. Vintage Chaps Denim. Chaps Denim, this is a size large. Very nice Columbia Cross Terra XL. I think I showed this in the last video, I'm not sure. I love when I find finds like this. Christian Dior and this nice nude and blue sweater. This is a size medium. I really wish this wasn't a 3XL. Look at this bear eating a salmon down the river. And then on the back, this piece is so fire. Fortunately, it's a 3XL though. Just came on this bright ass green polo golf, size large with the big horse, orange. And then on the back, you have a 1885 patch on it. I think this might be a cop. Just found this vintage champion, size large XL, Atlanta 1996 Olympics. Pillsbury Doughboy, vintage from 1996. This piece is so fire. Nice simple red tee, pocket tee with the Carhartt patch right there. Vintage Mickey piece, tag right there. Mickey's tapping his hat off. It looks like it's a pocket, but it's not. Nice in this purple colorway. This is a size large, I believe. This has to be a custom, but if you notice the patch right there, and on the back it says, speak English. This is perfect for Miami. Just found this vintage Timberland piece and it has a zipper pocket on the front. This is so old school. What size is this large? That is crazy. Currently leaving Goodwill. Got a good amount of goodies. Now let's head to the next one and see what they got. Shout out to the girl that was thrifting in there wearing the Stan Smiths. If you happen to be watching this video, you cute girl, you cute. So we came in this thrift store about two or three trip to the thrift stores back. We didn't find anything, but I'm just gonna take a quick browse. Maybe we'll find something today. So in 
those shoes they don't have much, but they do have these brand new navy vans in my size for $7.99. So I'm definitely gonna cop these. Just found two pairs of True Religion jeans. These are a size 30 with some rips. What size are these? These are a 31. But they're taxing $30 and fifty dollars they are crazy always find 97 marlins gear so those true religion jeans that i found yeah they were girls i don't know why girls are size 32 and 33 and 31 it just doesn't make sense so we only left with the vans but we're gonna hit up the goodwill the goodwill is like right around the corner so let's get it So I just realized this is the small one, but you know, sometimes you find the best things in the small stores, so let's hope we get something. So we just found this vintage Harley Davidson from 1997. Has that on the back. As you can see, 1997 right there. I love when I find vintage Polo Ralph Lauren in the stripes. This shirt is so nice, and like a yellow with the blue. I really wish this was a smaller size. We got Coogee Australia in like the diamond print. 1969 Coogee Australia. Such a fire piece, unfortunately too big. Just found this nice windbreaker, again with the pocket on the front and it's 3 fourths size large XL in the black and blue colorway. Just found this really nice Calvin Klein jeans. You got another, I don't know what up's up with today, but we are just finding pockets up the butt. This whole entire zips up right here, zips. Very nice piece. Found this weird color block striped rugby shirt with a huge number three on the back. This thing is fire. Unfortunately, it's a 4XL, which is pretty big. But that patch is so fire. Okay. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're leaving with one bag, and honestly when I was walking out I saw like four kids that was wearing straight vintage, so I was literally about to just turn over, but see this is why you guys have to search, you have to never give up, just keep looking through everything because some people probably miss that one piece of shirt or that jacket that you might have won, so let's see if we can find another thrift store around here, see what we can get. I love when I come and I have the entire men's section to myself. No people trying to rush you, no people trying to steal your goodies, just you doing your thing. All right, we're gonna jump over to the jeans first. You know, we always look for that Tommy patch because, you know, the Tommy patch is where it's at and they don't have any, so we're gonna quickly jump over to the jackets. And let's see, they got some 90s ski jacket. Oh, is this the Supreme jacket that they just dropped? I could have sworn they j Supreme just dropped a jacket just like this. Project Antarctica, because you know in Florida we need that. Last time I was here they had this Fat Farm jacket. Got this another ski, vintage Wrangler. Ooh, with a nice little rose on the back. Alright, no jackets there. Let's jump over to the other jackets. All right, coming up. Got this reversible, it looks like a bomber. Yeah, it's definitely reversible with orange on the inside, fleece black on the bad side. Just found this 1999 Super Bowl, Falcons vs. Broncos, Super Bowl. Just found a heavily embroidered rock unsteady LRG. Like all of this, it's so weird, like such a crazy material. Alright, so that was the first fail of the day. Found nothing at that store. I'm gonna look on my maps, maybe there might be a Salvation Army in the area. But it is getting late, it's about 6 o'clock, and I'm getting hungry. Your boy's making some tacos for dinner tonight. So, we gotta get things going. See you, see you 
guys probably think I'm walking into a thrift store right now, and I'm not. I'm walking into Publix. Your boy's hungry, your boy's making tacos. Day's done. I'm done, I'm tired, I'm hungry. Let's get the taco meat. I don't know if I'm the only one, but I'm legit addicted to candy. I have to have a piece of candy every single day. I don't know if that's genetics. I don't, I have no idea, but I love candy. I have such a sweet tooth. I eat like crap. I honestly want to eat so much healthier because I wish it would. <laughs> One minute it's sunny and bright and now it's fucking raining. But we got our tacos. Let's go get it and let's go make it because I am starving. I also just wanted to show you guys real quick a final product. I think it turned out really well. Again, if you didn't see my video, make sure you check out my last video. I showed you guys how to do these. I showed you guys how to do a DIY custom bleach. And also, if I would have left the bleach on a little bit longer, it definitely would have been more stand out. But I think that's definitely a fire piece. We got this one, the ring. And the Mickey shirt. So if, like I said, if you guys haven't checked out my DIY bleach shirt, make sure you guys go check that out. So quickly jumping back to my house, cause I am starving. Your boy wants to eat them tacos. Taco Thursday. Honestly, I thought I was going crazy. I thought today was Wednesday. I got up early to do Salvation Army Wacky Wednesday, which is why I didn't upload yesterday, because I thought today was Wednesday. Mind that. Jumping right straight into the thrift. First thing we got is these size 12 all navy. It looks like they've either never been worn or maybe have been worn once. I don't know why they put green laces on them. I'll probably definitely change that to like regular white laces or some brown laces, like leather laces or something. But I had to cop these. I got these for $7.99, so these are my personal. You can never go wrong with a nice pair of Vans, especially because I don't really care about the expensive designer brand shoes. I wear whatever comfortable, and nice pair of Vans can't go wrong. So for the first shirt we got up for today, this nice vintage Mickey. And if you notice, he's like proposing or He's tipping his hat off to Lady Mickey, Minnie. And if you notice, they're like a stitched pocket. Got this Nautica competition. Nautica competition on the back, we got a big logo. This is a size large. It's plain but simple Carhartt pocket tee. See the vintage Carhartt pocket logo right there. This is probably one of my favorite shirts that I definitely found today. We got this vintage 1996 Pillsbury Doughboy. Like, that, that's just ridiculous, that is so fire. Another 1996 Atlanta Olympics, in this nice colorway. And this piece is like really nice, but unfortunately, I looked on the inside, and I guess because of old age, it is starting to tear apart, but I'm wondering if I wash it, if it can do something. But it is this vintage Timberland, with the pocket on the front. And that's it for bag number one. <laughs> Jumping into bag number two. I love when I find these color, like look, I'm wearing it right now. This is a vintage, I didn't even show you guys my outfit of the day. This is a vintage Tommy Hill figure. Oh, can we get the flag? Maybe, yes, there it is. Got the vintage Tommy Hill figure with the yellow and white striped. So, you know, you can't go wrong when you find a vintage polo in the yellow and blue striped. 1997 vintage Harley Davidson. Harley Davidson right there. Got a patch on the side right there. Again, I don't know if like, we just happen to find all the jackets with pockets today, or front pockets to say. But we got this Windbreaker 3 fourths in the black and blue colorway with a huge zipper going across the side. It actually looks, no, okay, yeah. Huge zipper going right on the side. The last find of today, which I just realized today's cops, I thought that today was actually really good, but from looking at it, it wasn't that much at all. But we do have this Calvin Klein. This is in a size small. Everyone that's been blowing me up about size small, medium, here you go, guys, a size small. Calvin Klein, three-fourths. Again, I don't know 
if I were, if it was just our lucky day. But we have a huge zipper pocket on the front. Like I'm talking, you could put probably a little baby in here if you really wanted to. You know, just put a fucking baby in your Calvin Klein jacket and you're good. So another sick piece. And like I said, unfortunately that is it, you know. Today was, today was a little dry, but the grind don't stop. The trips of the trips don't stop. So, I recorded a video for you guys. Hope you guys enjoy. If you did, make sure you give that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. We're actually about to hit a thousand subscribers. We're at 976 subscribers, guys. 24 more and we're at a thousand then a thousand more, and I'm doing the four winner giveaway. There'll be a huge giveaway, about five or four pieces per winner. So I'm giving away about 20 items in a small, medium, large, and XL. Also, just to say thank you guys, I am giving you a 15% off my website with the discount code SAVE15% off EMC Vlog. So make sure you guys go use that. It ends till Sunday. I know everyone gets paid tomorrow, Friday, so you know, get that vintage, so that way I can start uploading all this new inventory. Like I said, if you guys look here, this is my next pile that I will be adding to the my store. You know, I gotta get rid of all this stuff. I'm not gonna lie, thank you for everyone that has been ordering. Uh, I just shipped out a lot of orders today, so you guys should get them within two days, so thank you so much for that. But like I said, I do need to get rid of inventory, so let me know if there's something you like, or if you wanna buy multiple things, I'll definitely give you a package deal, so that way we can get all the new stuff going and just continue this awesome vintage stuff fun, you know, thrifting every day. And I decided the first place I'm gonna bring you guys is Colorado. Um, in either December or January, I'm gonna go to Colorado, I'm gonna go thrifting, I'm gonna go skiing, I'm gonna go snowmobiling, so it's gonna be an awesome vlog. I'm gonna bring you guys with me the whole entire time. Last time I went to Colorado, I said I was gonna vlog. I actually did vlog. Maybe I'll throw a couple of video clips of like, of that, but I'm actually gonna vlog for you guys. I'm gonna show you guys Colorado. I'm gonna show you the beautiful things. And we're gonna try thrifting in another state. If anyone lives in Colorado, let me know. I'm gonna be going to Denver and Boulder. Um, if you're there, let's do a fan meetup. If you're not, then you guys will see what goodies I find. But other than that, hope you guys have an amazing day. Come back tomorrow for another EMC vlog. And don't forget, let's get it! Let's get it, guys. Woke up working like I'm Mexican. That mean I work from 10 to 10, then 10 to 10, then 10 again.